sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And the prize at stake is not to be sniffed at, an opportunity to finish top of the group in this hard-fought section here at the Euros. It's Georgia up against Portugal. Thanks, Derek. Well, they're already through, but can they top the group in this final game? They've been good so far. They just need to keep it going. Let's hope they can. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Well, it's a 5-3-2, which looks a little bit defensive to me. It certainly means they won't be able to press their opponents too high up the field. And again, that might be a problem for them. Mika Kvek Veskiri. Possession lost, intercepted. Well, we referenced it earlier, but with this being the last game in the group stage, there's still much to play for, particularly for the travelling fans who will be hoping their side can secure a top spot tonight. Well, I always think it's important to top your group. It usually means you get a slightly easier game in the knockout stages. They only need a point. A good vision there. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Georgi Kvilitaya. Options in the middle. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Oh, nice ball. Oh, pressing really high. And he read it well. Kiteshvili, Lochoshvili, Shengelia, Otar Kiteshvili. Oh, he's through here! Well, that's really sound goalkeeping, not letting the opposition have any scraps. Joao Felix. Vitor Ferreira. Nuno Menj. And now Danilo Ferreira. Ferreira. And Portugal moving the ball with purpose. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And over it comes. And a goal from Cristiano Ronaldo. That will be such a boost for them. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a finish by Ronaldo. He just seems to have a great understanding of where to place himself in the box. That's a very good goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Not a good pass. Now, let's see what they can do here. Nika Kvek Veskiri. Otar Kiteishvili. And that's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick.
And that is a free kick artist at work. What a goal it was. Well, let's see this again, because that's a fantastic bit of technique. To get that much movement and accuracy on the strike needs the perfect contact on the ball. And he's certainly got that. What a free kick that is. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Palinha. Nuno Menj. Joao Felix. It's with Danilo Pereira. Menj. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is hot. So they get the ball rolling in the second half. Even Steven here. So little to choose between the sides. Ronaldo. And on to Felix. Ronaldo. Huge block. Kashia. Chak Vetadze. And easily intercepted. He has teammates around him. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Illegal play, and hence a free kick. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Georgi Kvilitaya. Otar Kiteishvili. Just the challenge that was required. Ronaldo. And Bernardo Silva has it. And pulled back. And the goalkeeper has outdone himself with that save. And there's the delivery. Oh, another corner. Can they take advantage of this one? Found wanting a bit with that delivery. Well, they're sitting ever deeper. Palinha. Well, able to close down the short. Still passing it around with authority. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Options in the middle. Well, nothing for the players in the middle to work with. And time for the change now. Who can he pick out? Ruben Dias. Well, it's been a good last 15 minutes for Portugal. They're having most of the ball now and played some really good football. They just need to... Oh, Stewart, an opportunity! Oh, tremendous reflex action there from the keeper. Well, he didn't have long to react, did he? But that's a top-class save, I have to say. And he's fired over the corner. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Danilo Pereira. Great defending. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets. 
And a substitution in the offing. Can someone get on the end of this? Well, the danger is still there. Happy to take on the shot. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, no way through. Well, I thought that was game over. It's a great save from the keeper just to keep them in this. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Well, a textbook interception. Only five minutes left for play and tension galore with the teams locked together. Bruno Fernandes has it. And playing it through. And running through to the keeper. Fernandes. Effective play in possession. Could be. Oh, they've done it. They forged ahead, and it might be the goal that gives them victory. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. the final whistle and it doesn't get much better than this for them Stuart in the group stage top spot is theirs well over the course of this group they've been the best team they've played some attractive football they've worked hard to win the ball back and they deserve to be top dogs and on the back of this no doubt about it Cristiano Ronaldo generating headlines well that performance sums him up really you're never disappointed with what he gives you such a good player